to demonstrate this, you instead of pressing this for the normal light test, you press this one. Alright, so caution light is on and the um, T handles um, lights are on. So to put this out, obviously want to test that the button work. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since we last uh, built the panels for the A10C. So a lot has happened. Um, I was able to get some work done for the F15. Um, that build is done, just doing other stuff. For A10, I still needed to print some stuff for the front panel, front console, but um, my 3D printer, the BQ, um, B1 gave out. Then I realized I didn't have the right light indicator colors for the T handles. Finally that came and the result wasn't good. So I have to try the, the uniform strip uh, light so a lot of trial and error so glass shield and UFC both are pretty simple in theory but it turned out to be challenging and tedious um, UFC it was tedious for the size of the buttons to fit um, in terms of height in terms of tightness this one was aligning them and the lighting. So anyway, let's start with um, this, the two sides, this fire extinguisher discharge. So um, mine, it's this, you see this two um, actually are much wider. Mine is the shortened version because my front console is kind of small, like a condensed form. So I, I string them, uh, make them shorter. So it's basically just the main key thing is having a toggle here and a push button here, right? The rest are cosmetic. So we have something like this and then we have a hole. Um, this hole is actually, this is the bottom panel, right? The, the body the hole is for the wires to go through the back so um, we build a shape and then we make a fence what I mean by that you you have a fence and you raise it up and then it becomes like a box okay then you provide support here because later on you want to put a panel sitting here right so this one the front we pocket it down because the front is actually lower um, I will show you here yeah this part here okay it's not the same height as this the front is slightly lower that's why we we did this we do this okay um, then this four support together with this is all to put the panel sitting on top right and then hold it down with two screws okay um, this pillars have to be thick enough else this thing I find that it breaks easily all right then the wires go through the back so this body uh, instead of repeating the same in the opposite direction in your slicer like Cura you can choose mirror and then click here right and then it goes this way and then you get this all right then we use this for the left side now the actual panel that we sit on the top starting with the right side um, two holes for the screws and then this is the actual hole for the toggle it's a three-way toggle all right then we draw a lot of diagonal lines um, if you guys don't know how to do this watch my earlier videos way back 
um, several months back, the beginning of the channel for the F15e build, I showed two or three videos how to do this. Um, basically, using the trim button, right? So you can draw anything, you trim, and then you will get it. Then same thing with the arrows and the cross. You 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 draw whatever shape and you trim away whatever you don't want. Then you get this. Okay, and then you pad. So stripes, the the raised this panel will be printed black, right? So the raised um stripes here will be painted yellow. Okay? Uh because it's black. So if you paint yellow you'll be very dark. So I use the white acrylic marker to paint it white first. Then I put the yellow paint on it. Okay, everything else is black. The the bottom is black, everything raised is yellow. And then all these tags are white and this this all these are white. Okay. Now we do something for the left side. The uh store jettison. So same thing here. This one will be a push button. Okay. Now um th there is a like a circular thing. I just use a bottle cap. Okay, for it. Now the T handles. Okay, T handles was um challenging. Um you build this and then you have two things sticking out. Alright. And then you add a T shape here, you, you add this middle and then you pad it, then you add a hole, okay? Then you add the top and the bottom, okay? The top and the bottom, this will protrude out a little bit because later on you want to have the panel sitting on top, just slide it in, okay? So it's like a U shape, right? You can see here. Um, then when it sides on the left and the right, it will be flush, okay, with the front. So I just slide the whole three mm thick panel in like this, okay. So again, more stripes. So draw the draw all this cross cross, and then you trim away, you know, the tiny part in the middle. Trim away, and then you raise everything up. Okay, and then again, the raised parts, paint them yellow. Alright, so this is basically done. Then you add a hole. Now, this hole is very important. This is kind of squarish. This hole, you put the rod through and then you make two holes right all the way through the top and the bottom. And then you put a screw through the rod and the handle. This will prevent this, this T handle from spinning. All right. Obviously, you have to prevent the rod from spinning too. Then that's a different thing. At the end of the rod, you put another T to make it flat, so the rod doesn't spin. And then here, you put a screw through so that it locks the rod locks this T handle from spinning. So all these need to be done um together. Okay. So here I use a toggle as a push pull toggle and notice that we have a wooden block here right to prevent the rod from rotating but it will still rotate a little bit even though the left and the right side um there is something to prevent it from turning um, unless you raise both really high up so anyway I created this C clamp thing just a 1 mm thick uh, glued to the bottom and the top here this will prevent this from will hold this down level so the rod is you can screw it or you can in this case I basically glued the rod to this wood wooden block right Plus this will hold everything down so this doesn't turn. Um the the rod doesn't turn then with the T handle uh screwed to the rod, the T handle wouldn't turn. So both rod and 
the handle will not turn and it's secure as you pull and push so as usual um, I have a 632 um, screw so I'm always using this size 3.6 mm screw hole is perfect all right now for the panel I started with free cat in the beginning and in the past I've always been embossing uh, unless the text is very big if not um, first of all you get a lot of light bleed between the letters it's, if you do a cut out the text has to be huge um, as mentioned in the last video um, on the F15 playlist I started using this bamboo um, A1 printer is fantastic um, especially the AMS mixing colors so I had great success for the F15 um, light indicators so here we are doing it for the A10 now for the T handles is it's special in the sense that besides the black here and the text which is clear all the way through right um, you need to paint it white at the top right if not with the clear it's actually hard to read right the transparent letters so two ways to do it right we um, first of all there is a this is as explained in the previous video too this thickness is embossing raising it up this embedded is pushing it down this is debossing right so even though you put zero later the slicer will make it 0 0.01 okay it doesn't matter so you put zero here and you put three here if your if this block or what they call cube it's um, 3 mm right so this is 3 mm there will be clear um, letters here this this means clear okay I color them um, this is actually winter gray for knobs and then white okay this is transparent PLA so you have the text going all the way down from the top down 3 mm right so that's done the then we want to put white on top so again from the top we go down 0.4 right 0.3 goes our way down to the bottom 0.4 is just two layers I have a 0.2 mm layer okay I'm using the big nozzle for smaller text I use the 0.2 mm nozzle this is the 0.4 mm but the layer height is 0.2 mm per layer so 0.4 means two layers so there'll be two layers of white so instead of 3 mm all the way clear right it will print the top two layers white and then the bottom clear that's one way to do it this is how I did it right I, I have black and then I have clear text and then I add um, a top layer um, white now recently I learned another way to do it is still have it just clear okay but you select the whole block then you choose paint okay choose paint and then choose your white color okay which filament you want choose white you don't want all this freestyle where you have to align everything perfectly you click this fill and you will have edge detection and you will select the whole letter for you letter by letter this is clear this is white okay um, it's not very obvious they look they look alike so anyway after selecting all of them one by one and turning it white this is the end result this will be top um, two three layers white if you don't have enough layers of white the result will look kind of grayish the more layers of white you have um, the whiter it becomes right the result so if you if it's all clear you look like this if it's two three layers then the top is white the bottom is clear then the light can go through right and light up this white and then without lighting the white is still visible um, it helps make it readable
So now to light up the stuff, I I started with actually this thing here with the Piranha Super Flux thing, right? Which did not give good result. It was very spotty, like in between it was not clear. So I now try this this long flexible strip. So the key thing is this part here, five mm. I saw this, all right? So if you cut it, you can you can solder both sides. Okay, so I've never been a fan of um, powering like with adapters, if possible. I want all my light indicators, everything to be lit by Arduino. Okay, 5mm. 3mm is a bit weak. 5, no, sorry, 3, 5 volt. Uh, 3 volt is a bit not strong enough. So 5 volt with each of the pins like you know you put to pin 11 12 13 whatever so each in the each pin when they get a signal they light up right you do not want to have to buy an adapter to everything that you light up in your cockpit um especially if they have to be separate right you're not daisy if you cannot daisy chain them individually you you they will need their own adapter so that'll be crazy so anyway um, this was the solution I wanted. So they have different thickness, okay? Um, three, five, eight. I went for the eight mm, like the tallest. Actually, it's not much taller than the five. Anyway, so you cut it. You're supposed to cut in between, right? But this length wasn't long enough, so I cut one end. Then the other end, I actually go went out about one third. So it's like one and one third. Okay, else it cannot feel. Um, now we are we are not using USB. Okay, we we are just lighting it directly. See here, black and the blue is the positive. This is the negative. So one end you solder it. It goes here, and I have the hole in be behind this in the middle. Right, the the wires go through, and then to Arduino. So I join this part here. Right, another add another one third. Um, and it was able to light up the whole thing. Okay, I'm not sure whether this will burn out later, um, but currently it's lighting up the whole thing and the result is much more uniform. It's not obvious in the picture, um, but when you look at it, the, the lighting is very uniform. You don't have like bands of, of light and then darkness as in using this, okay? This Piranha Superflux is pretty wide angle, but maybe it's not. It doesn't have enough distance for the light to spread. the The result was bands of light and darkness, which I did not like. So I resorted to this, and I'm glad I tried this. Um, like the result. Obviously, you have light bleed here, right? But uh, it's not obvious when you look at it. So. Then for the T-handle, we have taken care of the lights. The T-handle itself, um, starting with the default simple um, code, the simplified version code, uh, it's a two-position toggle on-off, right? This will not work. This is like the gear handle in the A10 and the F15, which both I showed using an on-on toggle you do not want on off you do not want on off on you just want it up down right left right nothing in between but both are on okay so this is the way i did the gear and this is the way you have to do it too the sim doesn't know how you orient it so half the time if you use this two position thing when you pull it push in the game it pushes in right opposite so you have to use luckily in the advanced mode or you copy from uh, board um you have this advanced code using rotary encoder okay increase decrease and once you orientate it it will always be one way right for example uh pull is three and push is four so this will give you consistent result and not um 
go in reverse half the time. All right, just like the landing gear. So you need a non-toggle and you need this kind of special code and not your standard code. Um, the lighting we have covered. So, so we are done with glare shield and T-handles. Now we look at UFC. UFC starting with the back plate. Um, I have a lot of holes, the rectangular holes for the wire to go through. You'd be surprised how thick the wire is. Um, the holes are for this thing to to punch through and hold this thing in place, right? If you just glue this, it will tend to rotate. Um, so you push this thing in, helps it sit um, straight without spinning. So this these big ones are for the rockers. My rockers are the short and fat type. Okay, the key thing is, um, they they are quite easy to press. I had a older batch with the rockers are too stiff and you push really hard. Um, so the new one is black. Um, but they are easy to push. But they are short and fat. Okay, not the typical rocker. So anyway, rockers and then all the push buttons and this one. This one is uh, the enter stuff, which I will have a special cap wider to sit on it. And then here is your master caution, right? So the size for the rocker, the width and the height, okay? And then 2 mm hole um, for the packs and then the distance 9 mm. So these are all the key dimensions to, to note. All right, then you have a fence up and then supporting structures. Um, this one is to first secure this back plate to your uh, console. Then the top layer, you have a separate hole to screw in at the corners. Okay, so all this support to keep this level. Then the top panel. Um, this has to be big enough, obviously. I think mine is still a bit tight. Anyway, so have the words and note that in the actual UFC, some of the, the words are on the rockers and I elected to put on the panel and not on the rockers because I don't want to print, 3D print or label print to stick on it. So just put everything out, okay, at the bottom. So you also want to have like a fence, okay. Um, I don't want to print together. If not, there'll be a lot of supporting structures below this. If you put this flat down, then this result is not good. Anyway, I had to split this too. Okay, this will raise it raise this top panel enough so that it's not immediately sitting on the this back panel okay you raise it up enough the height clearance is just nice so um, some more key dimensions the top clearance for the rocker okay and this is the hole 10.2 Maybe you should try 10.3, 10.4 might be better. It'd be a bit looser. And then the distance. Okay, so it's a lot of try and error. You can place it however you want. Be flexible. It'll be easier to build. Don't have to try to make everything look exactly like the real thing. When you're, when you're flying, you don't really care like whether it's off a bit, right? The most important thing is to make it functional. So um, DCS BIOS code, um, nothing special here, all push buttons, except the master caution, you have a light, okay, and a button. Everything else is like rockers, two of them, and then push buttons, all right. So see this one light up. I'm using a label sticker at the moment and stick on it and um, they tend to 
peel off okay when you touch and it sticks and somehow the result is not very nice um, but still readable at the moment so now that I can print uh, text without being embossed I might use my bamboo AMS and print black PLA with white text and stick on it later okay for now it's label sticker um, and you see everything is black because of the rockers are black so I choose to have the buttons black instead of all these rockers and switches um, gray like the real thing so my whole UFC is black okay and um, yeah this is the wider one which you build slide it over your standard um, square button okay and then this one is the the big um, rectangular switch that I've been using All right so let's take a look how it looks alright guys we are back in the A10 after after a long break and um, again virtual reality and notice that I have created a better um, better outline of the cockpit okay later I'll be adding the horizontal plane this is the vertical one um, we have finally done the UFC and the glass shield so I've demonstrated all the other stuff before so that's um, this my mouse okay so to demonstrate this you instead of pressing this for the normal light test you press this one All right so caution light is on and the um, T handles um, lights are on so to put this out obviously want to test that the button work now it stops so we have the light working the push button working and um, as explained in the PowerPoint this has to be an on on toggle but in that time uh, we are complete okay so for people I keep getting a lot of questions repeated um, for people who wonder how to set up MR watch episode 27 general MR you need virtual desktop Helios to display this on the second monitor virtual desktop to enable the pass through open kneeboard to you know draw your shape um, and then I had a episode 33 I think to solve the transparency problem for viewports and then 34 episode 34 showing you how to draw a proper shape of whatever aircraft um, cockpit you like okay and another episode 35 I think um, to improve the the text for panels or light indicators all right so we are done with the front console and um, for this series a10 next I will be doing the side console starting with the left panel this will build sometime back um, most of them the input will build the output um, I have to I have to build them so output is a lot more challenging so till next time thank you guys for watching